So I'm Amphaya Grace Patricia Dennis. I am a graduate research trainee at Kremble Research Institute and a master's student in the doctoral stream program at the University of Toronto. You know, when you think of a 13-year-old, you don't typically think of who I am, a university graduate, a master's student, all these things. You typically think of someone who's in middle school, which for most people is accurate. I would like people to not see that as a limitation for me, for other 13-year-olds and other young people. And I want people to know that, yes, I'm, all, I'm 13, but I am also a researcher, I'm also a student, um, and maybe in a few years you'll see me being your doctor. <laughs> So my mom was a really big influence. She does have a master's degree in biostatistics. She was always there for me, helping me learn in biology, helping me learn with chemistry. And my grandmother was always there as well. She used to teach math, but she also used to be a nurse. Those two main influences, you know, in math and chemistry and biology really helped to inspire me. So I was nine when I graduated high school. I was also nine when I started at the University of Ottawa in the Honours Bachelor's in Biomedical Science. That program was really wonderful for me. It wasn't just focusing specifically on just biology or just chemistry or just math. There were foundational courses in biology and chemistry and math and physics and all of those different areas that would allow me to sort of find what I was interested in and make a path for myself. I was looking into different research programs and what really piqued my interest was all of these different movement disorders and how much I can make an impact by researching a disorder like Parkinson's. So it was from there that I found Dr. Antonio Strafella and I was able to join the team of trainees um, at Kremble Research Institute. My research is aimed at using machine learning techniques and artificial intelligence to predict whether a patient has Parkinson's and hopefully sort of wind that back and hopefully be able to predict whether a patient will develop Parkinson's 5, 10, 20 years in advance. I'm currently working on using a neuroimaging biomarker called dopamine transporter SPECT imaging along with different biofluid-based biomarkers such as alpha-synuclein, beta-amyloid, those types of proteomic biomarkers that have biological basis in the brain for Parkinson's. I did a literature review in the fall where I sort of aimed to find out more about Parkinson's, what research has been done in machine learning techniques to investigate this disease and differentiate it. And when I was doing that literature review, I discovered lots of information about, you know, how little research there really is about using multiple biomarker sources. Finding out about the, I guess, gap in the research fueled my passion to contribute to filling that gap and, you know, supporting clinical validity for combining different biomarkers. To be able to have a lasting impact on clinical practice for Parkinson's would mean the world, both for myself as a researcher and also for all of the patients that I would hopefully be able to make an impact in their lives. <laughs>